Hi friends, let us discuss about a conceptual part in polity today, that is doctrine of latches. There are a lot of legal doctrines which we are using in establishing and interpreting the constitutional principles. So what is a doctrine? That is something to be understood first. And in our area of study, which is law, in law, what do you mean by a doctrine? Doctrine is actually a principle of law, which is established through precedence or previous decisions. As you know, we have legal provisions and articles for each and every aspects related to our daily life. So we have a legal system. Then what is need of having such a doctrine is law is not actually accommodating every possible aspects of our daily life. Here sometimes some cases may need some other aspects which we might have considered in our earlier court decisions and that must be kept handy in such a manner that that can be utilized if similar situation or similar cases arise. Doctrines are actually defined for this purpose. So take this doctrine of latches. Doctrine of latches is actually something which is utilized by the courts to deal with inordinate delay which is happening in filing a petition or complaint. Which means, if you have a legal claim, you have to approach to the court in a timely manner. And if there is an unreasonable delay in approaching the court, then the court may consider or court may look into that issue through the prism, through the doctrine or window of latches. And the court will consider, are you trying to create a problem for the defendant in a purposeful manner. So three elements of latches will be considered in this particular regard. First one is whether you were aware of the claim that is knowledge of the claim. Second one whether the delay caused in this context is unreasonable or reasonable. Third one have you neglected this claim earlier and are you trying to attempt it, it now in a delayed period to purposefully harm the defendant? If the, the, these three questions, if it is answered properly and the court will adopt to the doctrine of latches. So if you have a logic, then the court will grant you the doctrine of latches and you will get a relaxation in that particular context. In Indian context, you have to particularly observe Article 32 because Article 32 deals with the fundamental rights guaranteed under Part 3 of Indian Constitution. So whether doctrine of latches is applicable to Article 32 is a matter of concern. And you know, fundamental rights, whether there is a delay in claiming for it or not, shall not be restricted on any grounds because fundamental rights is something which is required for the very subsistence and very existence of an Indian citizen and for his life, very life, he need fundamental rights. So we can't deny fundamental rights only on the ground that somebody has made a claim in a delayed manner. So even though this is the case, fortunately or unfortunately, in Indian context, there was a case in 2015, Ravindra Kumar Jain versus Union of India, which was actually a case based on our Rehabilitation Act. You know, we have an Act for Land Acquisition, Rehabilitation and Resettlement. Based on that Act, he actually claimed for a fair compensation, but his land was acquired in 1987 based law. So his claim was actually in a delayed manner and the claim was rejected by the court citing doctrine of latches. And till date from 2015 to 2020, no Supreme Court order as such is available to overrule this particular decision of the Supreme Court, which means 
even in article 32 as far as india's current scenario is concerned we have doctrine of latches which is actually you can consider it as actually something which can't be justified in any manner doctrine of latches actually is needed usually in civil cases cases related to trademark in all these contexts it may be required but especially when it comes to fundamental rights the logic of using doctrine of latches can be challenged thank you